Hello, my name is Gaston Sozand, and I'm writing anomaly detection software for drones. This project is being realized because we would like to help farmers better detect anomalies on their fields, because this will help their yield better crops. And we're realizing this by using uh, technology such as computer vision and allowing the farmer to not only detect these anomalies, but also be able to see this on various devices. So all the processing will be done on top of the drone, but then later the farmer can choose which platform they would like to see the results on. So they can get the reports on their phones, on their laptops, in real time from this drone. All right, so now we're going to do a quick demo of the software. And here, as you can see, we, we run the software normally. This would be done by an IT person, preferably. Then the software, when it's run, you can pass certain options to it, depending on, uh, depending on how you want to use it. For example, if you want to use it in a mode where the video feed is sent to a different device, then there's a mode for this, which is monitoring mode. You can see the screen that uh, the farmer will be receiving on either their laptop or, or their phones. And as you can see, on the, on the console, there's some output that you, the farmer will not be able to see, but will be saved onto a CSV file that will be given as a report later on. So if we stop the program real quick, we can now go and check the anomalies.csv file that was just created with all the anomalies that were detected. That were detected. And inside this file, as we can see, we have the, the size of the anomaly that was found, the GPS coordinates of this anomaly that was found, so that later on, the farmer still has a possibility of look at it, looking at this report, and if they want to check it later, they can still check it, but even though they receive this information in real time. Fortunately, now we can leverage the technologies available to us, and by helping farmers, we can help the general community, because they are the ones who supply food for us. So if we, if we help the farmers, then in, in turn, we are helping everyone.